Hello everybody, welcome to Press A to Die Does Some More for Pets Die. Uh, we are back in the kiln again. Um, and after my crushing defeat to Benzella, I am pretty determined that that's not going to be the last. So we are having some fun times in the kiln. Um, the uh, footage you're seeing here is all just as old as the last footage. This is months ago, so I'm sort of remembering it as it goes along as well. Uh, we basically have a long time just chilling. It was pretty much the whole afternoon. After I that first smash of Benzella, we messed around plenty of times, and there's me picking up my retrieval from where he struck me down with that stupid large shield he has. Uh, got this knight giving me problems here. Uh, but before we get stuck into the PvP, um, and I should say after I kill this knight, uh, I do have a little attack um, jaunt with what is supposed to be the end boss of the game, but you know, I, I, I don't really consider him the end boss of the game, it's a bit weird. Um, I mean, everybody probably knows the story of Win right now and his relation to the game and everything. I quite like him, but uh, I decided to fight him. Um, there's, you can do it the easy way or the hard way. Easy way is parry, or you can do it the hard way, which is what I opt for here. Um, I, I could kill him pretty easily, but I am deliberately going for it without doing any sort of uh, parrying, which is how you beat him really easily. This is me just uh, hitting him up with some um, non parries just trying to learn his uh, attack pattern here. And I haven't fought this guy in ages, so I have no idea what his attack pattern is. Um, and I've seen a few people recently, uh, the bulkiest of characters. Look at that. That was a really nice dodge chain I had going on there. So basically, you just look at him, stay the hell out of his attacks, which come fast and thick. See, that came out of nowhere. You, you kind of got to predict his attacks rather than actually. Ooh, that was close. Uh, at this point, I think I figure out that you know I'm not really going to get this done, and he doesn't give you a great opportunity to heal. Now he's going to finish with an epic grab attack. Want to finish off? No, not yet. I'm not done yet. Okay, now I'm done. Because <laughs> I can't block any of his attacks because he'll you know, just go straight to that paper thin shield I got. Uh, that's me doing it without any sort of. Um, parrying at all. I, I, I could beat him pretty easy with a parry. I think anyone can beat him pretty easy with a parry. And that's me just uh, giving it a go without the parry, just because it's sort of a fun fight to do without a parry. And there's me dying again, just as the Spirit of Vengeance arrives. I was in the menus, I walk straight off. Spirit of Vengeance invades my world. And uh, that's a free um, guilty praise of price for him, I guess. And uh, because of the Hornet Rings pissing me off a lot, I decided to just change the halberd instead of switching rings. So uh, you see there, I've got um, a Black Knight shield and a halberd. If I had the Hornet Ring there, I could really just stomp on Gwyn. So um, that's why I was playing with Gwyn there, because it doesn't really show off Gwyn's moves uh, if you just counter him the whole time. But uh, Benzilla's invaded again, and I'm going to make sure i got my proper kit set up as we uh, go for round two with Benzilla here. Uh, this match is a lot less serious than the last ones, and he's uh, just trying to poison me as I buff up um, all the matches after this. We, we kind of have one proper match to see who's like, the better man, the better build, you know, and uh, he, he definitely came through on that one. So he's just trying to get a bit of revenge and just knock around. And uh, I'm just trying to get in close because I felt like the, uh, the reason I lost the last one is I wasn't just getting in his face enough, and uh, I feel like I could probably trade down a lot easier. Because even a full-on attack like that with that shield pretty much didn't do too badly. Um, and <laughs> look at him, he's just running away in my buff. I'm just sprinting after his ass. And my buff's running out the whole time. It's a pretty epic chase sequence though. Uh, but I remember what he's doing now. He's going over to the thin part over here. I'm just looking at him like, you got to be kidding me. But what he's doing is he's trying to get me in a narrow bit here. So we got like a... Um, ups the stakes a bit. I'll get with my poison because I can pretty much. If he wants to run away from me, then he's gonna give me an opportunity to do that. And he's got me on a narrow bit, so he can use fire surge to use this uh, advantage against me. However, I'm gonna use my uh, range attack to do some pretty good damage there. Unfortunately for me, because he turned to the side and I was locked on, it spammed my camera around, and my roll, which should have been an evade roll, it made the uh, direction of it switch. And I died, so that's uh, one more indict uh, indictment for Benzilla. And uh, we've got a second, a third invasion from Benzilla here. He comes on up, 
And uh, this time he's sporting the Chaos Blade, and I believe he has 99 humanity like I do. And that's a weapon that scales with humanity. It stops at 10. He's <laughs> like, do a little, well, what is it, dance? Um, but, uh, the, the Chaos Blade is not a joke weapon like pretty much any of his other weapons he's got. Um, and you'll see pretty soon like how serious that weapon is. Yeah. I'm not going to get hit by a stupid move like that. But when I try and trade with him here, because I'm still thinking along the lines of I want to be really aggressive. And uh, it's just punching through that shield because I know it's got no defense. And he also likes to go on the stairs because he knows I can't parry his ass. Two hits and I am half dead. So it's pretty much a four hit KO. And it's just like boom boom, boom boom, I am dead. So I'm not going to stand much of a chance against that weapon, that's for damn sure. And the Chaos uh, the, uh, Blade there, it's got such a long range and so quick. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much a lost battle right now. Um, he's got a really strong build there. He, uh, it looks, doesn't look very strong because it's got an egg head, you know, and it's got a bone wheel shield and whips and stuff. There's the third hit. He's only got to hit me one more with that thing and I am a am gonna. I'm a buff run out, I just noticed. He's trying, he's trying to get me again with that stupid shield bash. Oh, what a dick. Also, he's firing firebombs at me, which are kind of cool. You don't see that, like, at all. You should see more of them, really. They're cool. You see some dung pies every now and then. Um, I think I should just dodge that then. He saw that I went two handed on my blade, so he's, like, trying to get in there, but I managed to get to my shield just in time. He's got the toxic on me again. Seems to like doing that. Uh, at this point, I think even a pyro combustion would take him out. He's doing his uh, combustion fireball thing. Now, I'm trying to get an attack on him while he's doing it, but he's, he's, he plays smart when he realizes what I'm doing. Fireballs himself, which means I can't really do anything. And, uh, because I got that on quick switch now, I know I can. And this just shows how beastly the build he's got there. I know I don't have a buff, but I was just hacking and hacking in his face there. It barely did over a hundred. I got like three, four good hits in there. And uh, this knife is just so piddly, it's barely gonna do anything. Get the parry in, and uh, <laughs> that was on flat ground and it still did nothing. So I can't just land a parry to save my life, quite literally, because I am dead. And, uh, I've really got to work on landing those reposts. Reposts. Um, so that's three. He sticks his tongue at me. God damn it, you bastard. Now, I can't actually remember um, the time of day we did it, but I believe as the evening went on, it, it got busier and busier in the kiln um, until we eventually uh, we, we couldn't really reliably get into fights with each other. Um, but this is just kind of the start of it, and uh, because I got so many indictments on me after this stupid playthrough. Quite a lot of spirit of vengeance coming at me because um, Benzilla is trying to invade me. So we've got a, a, a notorious spirit of vengeance coming up here, and he's got a magic defense buff here. So this is sort of interesting, and I'm sort of a bit wary here of what's going on with it. And of course, I've got the uh, deflection there. You see that a, a single hand? If I hit him with a single hand, it uh, bounces my thing back. So I go to the two hand, which means when I hit him, it's not really going to bounce off his shield. And uh, he's doing his two two hand stuff there. I've got a much faster weapon than he has, and uh, I was actually doing quite a lot of damage there. And I managed to actually get a parry on the stairs just to prove that it can be done, and just make myself look really bad. The worst times that I parried Benzella on the stairs, and nothing freaking happened. But uh, I managed to beat the Spirit of Vengeance there. So, that, uh, spoilers, that's not the last time you see that guy. But uh, eventually I get really bored of um, <laughs> waiting for Benzilla to invade me, so uh, I try and invade him. So we get to see how that works out. And uh, I'm invading this world of the guilty. Benzilla was like pissed in the chat, and he's like, oh god damn it, I'm being invaded again, hang on a sec. <laughs> and it was me. I was like, oh snap. So I managed to get the drop on Benzilla here, which is pretty cool. He wasn't expecting me to counter-invade him, because I was, of course he knows that I'm actually a uh, forest hunter, but I use one of my crack red eye orbs, and I'm uh, playing it on his own ground now, because I've got a piece of my own humanity. Down to 97 here. <laughs> he's pulling no punches, because he's using the Chaos Blade again. 
Nah, this is a pretty good fight, this one. Every time the Chaos Blade hits as well, he see him take 20 damage. So, um, to be honest, if he just comboed me completely and hit me for four times, it would do more damage to him than if I was to hit his hit him with my knife five times. So, his own Chaos Blade is more deadly to him than my unbuffed knife. That's just how pathetic this is. Godzilla hides behind a pillar here. I come round for him and he hits me with a goddamn fire surge flame whip, which just dominates me. I blocked a lot of that, but it still didn't really do much. We rolled at exactly the same time, and I managed to nail me. So what is that? That's four to nail to Benzilla right now. I want to get him in the end. We'll see how that goes. Hey, what do you want where I'm buffing? Just straight after here? Just after I kill this dude? Well, we got a Knight Artorius, um, a Vengeance dude. He's back again for round two. He wants for round two. Maybe he's a bit annoyed that I managed to parry him on the stairs, and he's the only one in the universe who has to parry. But uh, we'll see how this works out. We've got one little hit on there, and uh, after flubbing it a lot, I kind of want to go to the flat ground up here, because this is just where I prefer to fight. I don't like fighting on uneven ground. Even though I've proved to myself that I can actually parry him on the stairs, I, I don't like fighting on the uh, the slopes down there. And plus, you know, I, I've just killed that one knight, and I'd rather be up here where there's a good distance between the next knight, because I don't want to accidentally stumble into it. But he pulls out his, um, uh, his Dragon Slayer bow, or Goth's bow, I don't know. RPG for all I know. I can hear him putting it down. I'm just going to stay on this side of the fence and eventually go for it as soon as he puts it away. A bit slow on the roll, but he missed it anyway. It doesn't really matter. And now he's sort of like got his bow out. I don't know why. I guess he should have seen me coming and given up a bit more. He just being an idiot and completely missing some of these parries, which is so obvious, but I don't really need to. It's sort of the opposite effect with the Benzilla effect there. Instead of me dying in four hits, he literally died in four hits. So um, I think they invade up. I have no idea what kit he's got, but he was an incredibly weak Knight Artorias, so that's, oh, that's all I know. And uh, Benzilla's invaded again, so this is number five. And Benzilla fighting up here. No, this is just out in the random wastes of the kiln. And he's got an Avalon now. So he's completely mixing it up. It's so pretty hard for me to uh, adapt to what he's doing. So I never know what he's going to do. All I know now is he's got an Avalon. He's like, punching me. With the buff, that's not too bad. 340 for uh, two hits. That's not too bad. In fact, I could probably trade down with his Pyro, I think. I don't know. I'm not quite sure how much health he's got. Because uh, so far, I've never actually seen his health go down. And they've got a shuttle, and I always try and parry shuttles. Kind of a weakness of mine, because I know you can't block them. But they're relatively easy to parry, so uh, I guess that's why I go for that. Unbelievably, he gets me with that damn shield bash again. I completely forgot he did that. Because this is like the first... Obviously, I just had to edit this together again quickly, but this is the first time in about a month and a half I've seen this footage, so... Jesus Christ! And I've got Lord Chumley here, so I've, I've tried to reinvade Benzilla here and um, flubbed it a bit because I've invaded the wrong guy. But PvP is PvP, so I'll take it where I can get it. We've got a Leo build here, which is sort of a giant greatsword. Um, he's got a mid roll, which is not surprising since the armor he's got. He's got a black armor set. Um, I can't see. Oh, it's a dark hand he's got there. And uh, even through his knight, Black Knight Shield, I am doing 32 damage, which is more than an unbuffed knife against Vanzilla, when he's just you know, taunting. If he thinks that's seriously going to hit me, he's got another thing to do. Although that will hit me pretty well. Um, a bit of a ghost hit, but you know, I should be rolling through those things, because I know ghost hits are a thing. So we're doing pretty well right now. It's not a bad fight. I mean... It's not all over the place action packed, but it's a slow character versus a fast character. And those are all sort of interesting fights. I really like him. Um, he has nommed on a grass. I'm seeing a little green stuff around him. And that's obviously not a shield that gives him that buff, so. 
it's kind of interesting. I think you need it for a, a character like that. Now I'll try and catch him out, because obviously he's a slow character and my buffs run out. I don't really want to spend all day just whittling him down. So uh, I'm, I'm also thinking of a parry by that. Could have gone for the backstab, I don't really want to, because when you go for backstabs and you're the first one to actually go for it, it changes the whole dynamic of the fight. I mean, it's not a bad fight we've got going on here, but um, I, I don't want to be the one to go to backstabs first, because even though I was perfectly entitled to, he left himself completely open there. It would have kind of put him in a bad mentality and, you know, it would have soured the fight a bit, so... He's got his uh, two-handed slams going on there, and I try and catch him out again. I actually managed to hit him, 477. So uh, that's obviously how a crystal soul spear kind of works out there. Just get him fame into attack, but he heals. So, I mean that's fine. I mean I invaded him. Whatever it doesn't mean that, of course. Now I can go and heal if I feel like I want to. Um, I don't believe I do, um, but seeing as he heals. I am probably just going to go all out and backstab him as much as I want to now. And uh, I managed to get my buff in, which is cool. And just out of nowhere, this knight comes from wherever the hell he was from. Space, I think, they're from. And, uh, <laughs> he gets owned by that. And uh, I've got to give him a shrug there. And is indicted as well. Which, yeah, I'll give him that. <laughs> that was so not intentional. And if I was him, I'd be pretty pissed as well. We got a uh, Team Rocket dude uh, just messing around again. Be blasting off again momentarily, I should imagine. This is the third time he's invaded me. I think I was, I was literally going all out in now because I was a bit annoyed that he kept on invading me. Because obviously, I'm trying to fight Ben Zilla again, and this guy's getting in my way. Probably would have been cool to do a plunging attack on that guy there, but uh, he's got such a, a weak build there. It's magic. Uh, I just kill him pretty soon. Uh, give him a, give him a shrug. So I invaded the wrong guy again, who is coming at me like a freight train and not giving me any chance to buff or do whatever. Fine, you know, I'm not here to make friends with him, I'm here to kill him. So if he wants to be all out in my face and not let me get any sort of uh, advantage, then that, that's up to him. He's got a wolf ring on a bunch of silver knight gear here, which is interesting. I guess he feels that heavy armor isn't enough for him. And I'm getting my my shield wasn't being too helpful there because it's just made of paper and cardboard. Nice little parry there. Don't land it again. God damn it. Nice parry again. Another failed. And I I think at this point I was either so mad or just so just stunned. I was like, yeah, I'll just accept that death. So that's two in a row, like once straight after each other, and I proved that you can actually parry on that hill, and it didn't work out for me, so I'll, I'll give that to him. I invaded the world of eye pump action. So yeah, as you see, um, <laughs> fights with Benzilla are becoming uh, fewer and fewer, like a, a less prominent thing. So we guess he will be invaded here, and uh, I'm going to buff a bit more sooner this time, after that match didn't really let me do anything. Um, obviously this is a different guy from the other guy, even though he is also, uh, looks like a Silver Knight armor there, although it's a bit more of a mixed armor set. He's got his magic blade and what the hell is going on with that? Uh, I think after the last match I just saw, I, I kind of said screw it, I, I've really got to at least practice landing reposts because somewhere along the line I completely forgotten how to do it. And you can see earlier in this playthrough when I was in Anor Rondo and um, I was fighting like awesome rapier builds and stuff and landing the most awesome reposts and I, I reposted one guy three times in a row. Um, that's just not happening anymore because I don't know how to repost. I can still parry fine. It's just it's me being an idiot and realizing, oh yeah, I've got Lloyd's Talismans. Who wants to heal? I'll heal. And we'll, uh, we'll basically just uh, start from scratch here. He heals, I heal. Got a nice fat roll going on there. And, uh, now I've actually managed to hit him, I'll just keep these Lloyd's Talismans stuck in him. And I was thinking about Crystal Soul Spearing him there, but I was just a little bit too late. If I managed to nail him while he was trying to take a drink, that would have made my night. Really would, but uh, unfortunately I was too slow. Uh, as for usual, I've got to keep the Lloyd's Talisman up on him, so. It's all about the disadvantage that I've got going on here. 
that are directed to the face of some Lloyd's Talismans. But you see he's using a rapier again. Like I said before, I am getting a bit sick of those rapiers. And there we are, me being just an idiot. Just learning how to parry again, because I feel like I need to go back to school on that. Uh, my buffs run out again, I noticed, so <laughs> I'm in trouble. And I've got to keep that Lloyd's Talisman going. And do we catch him out with this old beard? No, because I know he's got a fat, a fat roll, so <laughs> it'd be nice to see him fat roll again. Oh, that was a nice hit. Got the last one. He almost rolled into that, now I'm looking at that. But I really, really want to get that Lloyd Talisman on him, because uh, it's almost run out. Although I'm almost dead, so... In fact, it did run out. <laughs> that actually kind of pisses me off, because I swear that dish hit him. I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah. Close match, it was kind of fun. I think he figured out he can heal again now. So that was cool. <laughs> He's happy. So that was sort of an interesting match. So you may be confused as to what's going on here. I'm getting bum rushed by a uh, NPC knight here as I'm being invaded. Thankfully, this guy is a, a pretty nice invader. In fact, the, the invaders around here tend to be a lot nicer than the hosts who are being invaded, which doesn't make much sense to me. Actually, it, it makes sense in a gameplay point of view, but lore-wise, it doesn't make much sense. So uh, he's letting me just fight this knight, who um, decided to attack me as I come back up here. I'm, I can't remember the situation that got me into that situation, uh, but that's just how it is. And um, I just want to thank the guy for not pouncing on me while I'm trying to deal with that knight. So that was, uh, that was really nice of him. So, it seems that when he came in there, he's got a target shield, I think, and a shuffle, which is an interesting build, and a wolf ring. So he's got plenty of poise, he's also got some magic ears, so um, my magic thing is going to be doing some nice damage. We've got nearly 300 for a quick attack, which is insane amounts of damage. So he's taking a lot of damage, he's got some pyros chucking out there. Um, I'm not going to be wanting to try and block that shuffle, as I'm noticing. Uh, but he does have a target shield, and when people have target shields like that, it does kind of indicate to me that either they know how to parry or they're thinking of parrying. It's just that's out there. So, although I do like those shields myself, I am kind of aware. It's like when you run into combat with a parrying dagger, it's sort of like, yeah, you're kind of giving away what your your, your game plan is with those sort of things. So, I am aware of that and thinking of that. But uh, he is playing the uh, the avoidance game right now against my uh, my buff, which is currently run out. So his fairy ears are now an advantage for him, as opposed to a disadvantage. But that's okay because I can uh, I can play without buffs. And this is he doesn't seem to be too well armored here. Um, he's going two hands of the shot, and so maybe he might be thinking to get through my shield. I'm constantly holding it up, trying to bait his attack. So I'm I am wanting to. Uh, get a parry on him, that'd be quite nice. So he's got two hands there. Nice. So I managed to uh, get the parry on him and that's him out of the game. So I managed to uh, dispatch that nice invader. That was a nice match. Thank you dude for waiting because he probably could have pounced on me and had me because he kind of caught me with my pants down. But uh, that's that. Come on, there we go. <laughs> uh, we've got a Jimmy boy has invaded me this time. Which is another spirit of vengeance, and this was an intense as hell match. Uh, so you can see uh, here, um, he gets a very strange uh, backstab on me with the rapier, with the hornet backstab, which pretty much almost one hit KOs me and tries to follow up with a quick little uh, attack there. He pulls back here, um, I think that was because he didn't intend for that to happen. Um, he's more of a parrying dude, I guess, because he's uh, trying to take advantage there, and he's trying to parry me there. So uh, it kind of gave away that he's got. <laughs> now what happened there is we both tried to do a backstab counter at the same time. He kind of came on slightly ahead, but because I was attacking at the same time trying to do his, it was kind of a draw. So uh, we are both very much aware that we can't actually parry each other and counter backstab. So uh, he basically goes over there and um, we do a little shield to shake each other. Enough little shenanigans are going on. Um, kind of size each other up and decide we're about the same. So uh, he heals, I heal, and uh, we're ready to start this match again after the shenanigans that just happened. So uh, let's rock this out.
So we go in to collide with each other here. Um, I give him a kick there, which is uh, another way how you can get out of the counter backstab and backstabs. I think um, kicks are going to be the safe way to go, seeing as this guy knows how to actually counter backstab a backstab. So you see there, he's trying it again, and uh, I'm not going for it this time. I'm completely pulling back because. With a, it could go either way, and seeing as I've got a little dagger, and he's got a Hornet backstab rapier, which will do so much more damage with the critical hits, like backstabs and stuff. There's no really way I'm going to do it. Um, so I think he might be trying to do it again, but uh, I know that eventually that kind of stuff does kind of give up. And uh, as tempting as it is to try and get some random guy in on this federal red symbol there, I see the uh, the kiln's really heating up now. So he falls off the ledge, probably not intentional. I'll. I'll uh, and capitalize on him trying to get back in here and he goes for another time backstab there um, his uh, build there Ooh, that was a nice parry I think at this point he kind of is at that point he might have decided that I was a bit more of a ferocious opponent than he thought and he'll stop going for backstabs at this point and um, which is good because I'm not going for it either so we've got a proper match heading off from now, and uh, his build, he's got a child mask, good for the stamina. Actually, no, that looked like he was going for a backstab there, so maybe not. Um, he's certainly going to try and get um, more uh, reposts on me, so I'll have to see how that works out for me. Uh, I, I try and <laughs> mix it up a bit there, get some force on him, um, because my buffs obviously run out, so I've got no, like, hoo 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 See, if I went for a, uh... see, this is tricky, because I'm... I'm Assuming that um, no more backstabs are trying to take place, but he's being hyper aggressive there. Um, and he's kind of. I can't tell if he's going for the backstab or not. He's certainly going for a, a double attack there. Uh, maybe I should try and go for a backstab, but I'm not for sure. It's hard to tell. Uh, his lightning sh uh, rapier is not doing too badly for me, so this is definitely a war of attrition. Both of around. He's got his. Uh, his tricks as well. I'm thinking about going back to some of my tricks. Um, I should try to probably get that heal off. Um, that heal sort of more for uh, um, sort of like when I'm actually invading people in the forest. So I really shouldn't be having it at the moment. It'd be nice having a, an extra buff or something, or perhaps even another soul spear of some sort, just to mix it up. So having a slow casting missile and a, a, a quick missile can really screw people up with their dodges. Um, as you see this pretty much will go on for a while and uh, he's trying to do his little uh, <laughs> parry thing there. I'm not really letting him. I'm getting so many hits on him I just realized that. So uh, I don't know if anyone's actually keeping score of how many hits I got on him and how many hits he's got on me but uh, I think I'm winning at the moment. I certainly parried him once, was backstabbing once, but I guess that was in the early part of the match when we weren't actually attacking. Now, my buff ran out about a decade ago, so I'm finding it a bit hard to uh, understand why this guy is and hasn't gone all out on me and just toasted me. Now, earlier when um, I did that to Benzella, he managed to roll out of it. I actually got the kick combo on that guy and landed it pretty convincingly, so I don't know. I don't know for sure why that worked or not. Um, I just realized we have been technically trading down just very slowly and he is edging up on the damage a bit and I'm trying to pull off the combo here ah oh, man I got the heal uh, if that was a proper magic missile I would have probably <laughs> got him off there but uh, I think it's throwing his game off a bit and I'm gonna assume that's Wrath of the Gods because I think I only see it three times and I seem to be the only person in the world who uses Force as opposed to Wrath of the Gods because everyone goes on about all the damage being done as opposed to putting pressure on your opponent and uh, positioning and all that all that good stuff, combos, but everyone seems to do damage and I was trying to work out a way if I can get to him like a backstab while he was doing that uh, but I've lost quite a few matches to Pyromancy by trying to roll around the back as they hit me and getting hit by a phantom hit so I'm well aware of that and don't really want to lose this match to it. And uh, you guys can probably see right now like uh, what I was talking about when I said that this match was quite a marathon. Um, Spirit of Vengeance as well, so there's an indictment on the line if I lose this. So it's pretty serious stuff. I've been at low health for a hell of a long time now and there I finally unleashed my Crystal Soul Spear there because after a match has been going long for this long, you just like 
use one at that point. Oh, that was a nice one. See, I'm trying to get the combo in again. Uh, I'm kind of flubbing my shots a bit. I'm gonna get some uh, non sh non lock on shots, and he's going for the back step. I guess he's a bit tired of that by now. I'm gonna try and make my little jump over here. He came over to me. I'm not quite sure why. And uh, I think because I attacked him when he tried to jump on earlier, he's not going to go around the side again. Gold pine resin I've got selected there. I don't think I'm going to use that, but um. Oh, that was close. I got away with that. That should have killed me. I guess a kick managed to cancel out that stuff. If I went for a back step there, I would have got it. Mainly because he parried at the same time. So it would have been a nice punish and a nice way to end it. Fortunately, I wasn't quite on the ball there. Um, this marathon match is taking its toll on me as well. So I'm down to one Crystal Soul Spear. I'm just looking at my forces right now. And that is, of course, the advantage of force. Uh, I can use it like that. Flub my last Crystal Soul Spear, so combos are out of the question at this point. I can't see how much health these have got left. It can't be much. No, oh, that's a fair bit, I guess. I've got an extra hit on him, that's cool. And I try and make my jump up here. Fail twice. Hang my head in shame and come around the corner over here as he tries to get me as I come up the stairs. Camera almost killed me then. That would have sucked. Getting more damage on him as he's uh, making some mistakes, but he finally gets his back stab on me and finishing me off. Nice match, and uh, got one more part of this, and I'll see you guys in the next part.